Hi, I'm Jordan from Kettner Creative. In this video, I want to show you how to set up a tripod screen for your event. Commonly, these are six or eight foot wide screens. They pack down small like this, so I'm going to show you how to set it up. Kettner Creative is an audio visual company based out of Vancouver, BC. We have tons of these in rent. If you find this video useful, please like and subscribe to see more videos like this in the future. So when you grab the screen from us, it'll look like this. You can see right there, this tooth is locked in the top and that keeps everything together. So the first thing that you want to do is right here, there's a black knob. You gotta pull that out and lift the top out. So you can see right here, that's the hole that the tooth was in. Okay, and then you pull it kind of like it's gonna be when it's set up as a screen. Next, you wanna get the feet out. Now the feet, there's three feet, they're all locked together at the bottom. So I'm gonna show you this. If you see right at the bottom here, there's a kick tab. You need to kick that down with your foot when you're setting it up. So you put it on the floor, I grab my foot, I kick that little tab, and then the feet come out. So you put the feet down, and then you grab the screen, and you pull up. Now, on the back of the screen here, there's this knob again, the same one we were using before. So you pull that out, and you lift the screen up. Okay? Now you can set your bottom height. The bottom height will be fine by default. I don't recommend changing this. We don't recommend bottoming it out. We re recommend keeping it three and a half feet off the ground, which is the default setting that it's at here. If you do want to change it, there's two things to do. There's a little lock right here. So you flip that up and then you pull the black knob out and you can go up or down depending how you want to set it. So I'm going to put it back in its default position. We flip this around. And that's the screen. Depending on uh, who you're renting from, we always ship this black skirt that comes with it. It's a Velcro skirt, as you can see here. This is just carpeted. So you just put this across it. And it gives it a more clean, professional look, especially if it's a corporate event of some type. It hides the legs. And the dirty little secret in everything events is now you get storage space for your event. So we always put our cases and all that behind the screen because now you can't see it. To tear this screen down, it's the exact same thing, but reverse. I'll walk through that with you now. So you take off the skirting. What I like to do is I like to walk it back and forth as I pull the skirt off. And then we roll it up. Keeps everything fairly wrinkle free. It's not perfect. Okay. Now I'll turn this around so you can see it. So if this was down, I would start with this. So you pull the black knob out, bring it up to the bottom hole here. That's its default position. There's that lock. We put the lock on. We pull the black knob here and we lower the top of the screen. Once the screen is fully lowered, then we lift the screen off the hook here. We bring it back down. Now, if you're standing behind the screen, rotate it clockwise. What you're going to see is right down here, there's a little ball that hooks in this hook here, and that keeps it locked. And then, so the feet are still down. Now we raise the top, and we get that tooth back inside that hole that it started at. So now the screen and the upright are locked together. And we pull up the feet, we hear it click, and now it's good. So the top is hooked in, and the bottom feet are all clipped together. So now you can take it, you don't have to worry about it unfolding or unraveling. The other little thing that you want to look for is right here is that ball that needs to get locked into here. This isn't critical, but that does keep the screen locked into the roll. So just keep that in mind. Hopefully this helps. That's how you set up and tear down a six foot tripod screen for your upcoming event. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comment section below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to see more videos like this in the future. Thank you.